party with Gotham and guys today we are gonna do the level distracting dungeon so let's go by devising a distracting decoy doppel doppelganger so I use object literals accessing property strings variables while loops with conditionals and while loops let's begin okay so now we're back in all you need is just is just a nice sword i just keep the chain like and guffs for normal just some normal armor i th you don't need the boss star next then basic flags i just have the invisibility one next then my shark suit wait let me just get the and i got you look but try and get the best glasses you can i'm going with the hardened skill glasses and yeah, so this is basically the equipment, so let's get into it. Uh, our goal here is to escape the maze. Okay, our goal here is to escape the maze. Okay, so now let's first we have to find the nearest enemy. So enemy equals here to find nearest enemy. Okay, good. It's basically, okay. So while there's an enemy, so while enemy. Okay, and next and while the enemy health, while enemy dot health greater than zero. Attack the enemy. Hero dot attack the enemy. Next, and you update it to the next nearest enemy. So enemy equals hero dot find nearest enemy. Okay, so now we're done with that. But now let's talk about this function, this part. Okay, this part's all simple and easy. You know that we've been doing that for such a long time, but this is the part we want to talk to. So move both two. So so you have a peasant over here. Our peasant, Gwen Gwendolyn. So Gwendolyn's our peasant, so we have to move to a point. So you move so while the distance to the point is greater than one. So if you're not that close to the point, you move to the point. And you command the peasant to move to the point so that you both move to the point. And peasant is you find the nearest in the array of hero of find friends. This is just simple for hero to find nearest friend, but that only comes with better glasses. Okay, so command your friend to build a decoy towards x plus one. So if we're over here, x plus one. This is the x-axis. So x plus one decoy. Okay, and next the next point is here to pose at x here to pose at y plus 28 so you move up 28 spaces and next then uh, so you move up 28 spaces after you move up 28 spaces the next point is the next point is 28 away so first it says that move 28 spaces up next it says move 28 spaces to the right Okay, so yes, that is it. And you might be thinking, why did you do it like this? So if you want to get a pose, all the pose into one variable instead of going like x equals here dot pose dot x, pose equals here dot pose x equals pose dot x, that would take too many lines. So you do either curly brackets or whatever you call them, and x then you do the x, whatever pose, y, whatever pose. And that will be saved as the pose. So you all you do is just keep your uh, move instead of move x y. And if you want to learn the difference about here on move and here on move x y, check some of my other videos about how to do that. Okay, so let's run. So I move up. 
We kill the enemies. Next then, the decoy gets the brawler away. So the decoy gets the brawler away. Because the brawler is too strong for us to take with hand in this early of a game. When you come later in game, you can easily one shot the brawler. Okay, so now we keep going. The decoy gets drawn by the brawler. Next then, something happens a bit wrong to this one. So what happens is that you come over here, you attack the enemy. It gets done by the decoy. Okay, and this is what happens. He goes to the decoy. This last enemy goes for the decoy. And so, okay, so this messed up a bit over here. But the brawler went for the decoy because, okay, so these guys saw the decoy too because the peasant didn't summon it fast enough. So, the, so she summons it. She didn't summon it fast enough this time. She summoned it a bit too early because I was more faster than her. She summoned it a bit too early. She should come over here and summon it. But since she summoned, sum summoned it a bit too early, the munchkins got hold of that. They run for the decoy. But since the command says kill the munchkins, you kill them. You just go past the brawler without any intention because the brawler is kiting for the decoy. And if you click it, it will say target decoy so next and after that you just move get the gems you got your treasure and yeah that's it next and that just like spaces okay yep so that is it so now let's just recover what we learn over here so we used object literals by using the objects of pose and the enemy to help it. We access the properties of the function to make us move. Strings, we use the string decoy in the build function. Variables, we use the variable next point and enemy. While loop with conditionals, while enemy and while enemy health greater than zero. And while loop, we need a while loop so this all runs smoothly and repeatingly. So yeah, this is it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And this is Connie with Gotham, and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.